Hey everyone, today I'm going to be uh, working on the trailer again. It's uh, not the best day, but it's cloudy and it's cool and uh, it hopefully it don't rain on me. Today I'm planning on uh, doing a couple different things. Uh, one, I'm going to be uh, painting the, the gate, the new bars I put in, and determining where I need to put the hinges and cleaning that out, getting that ready to weld up. Uh, and then if I get some time, uh, I'll work on the fender. I'll be doing this in a couple different sections because it's uh, kind of hard to show what I've done and what I'm doing uh, when I have the camera facing this way. still have to use my cell phone uh, for most of this. I do have a, uh, an old uh, Sony camera, but it won't do video, so I was going to try using that. So I can set that up on a tripod and, and uh, record on there, but uh, uh, I'll have to use my cell phone for a while until I get a chance to uh, uh, get a little better camera. But until then... Uh, I'll be using my cell phone or my laptop for recording my videos. So I'm going to stop this part. Next part I'll come in, I'll pick up and uh, I'll show you what I'm, I've done on the trailer at, at that point. So watch for the next section. Well, here's the gate. I pulled it out so I can paint it. And uh, uh, I'm going to be spray, spray painting it with uh, uh, what is it? Uh, a Rust Pro spray enamel. Uh, this is the can I'll be using, using for it. I'll spray that on there and cover the bottom side and then uh, uh, when I get it flipped over I'll spray paint the top side and uh, uh, then I'll start working on the hinges. Here's where I just got done painting the bottom side of it. Uh, I can't really tell and it's a little bit shiny but it looks like it was kind of designed that way. It's always a good thing when it looks like uh, uh, it was designed to have those supports in there. I've got them all painted up here. Now when I flip it over, I'll paint the top side, and uh, kind of hard to tell almost on the camera which way is uh, the uh, new ones and which one's the old ones, other than the fact the new ones are shiny and the old ones aren't. Continue next section. Anyway, when I flipped it over, a bunch of water come out of the tubes, that's why we kind of leave a little hole in the back of them. As you can see, the water down there. Yeah, had to redo my phone here. It, it started to zoom in the screen in, but I flipped the uh, gate over. A bunch of water come out of the tubes. That's kind of why we leave a little hole in one tube so they can drain out. So I went ahead and sprayed the top of it here. Now the next next step is right along down here on this end. You can see where the hinge used to be there, and the hinge used to be here behind the spray bottle. Uh, so now I'm going to take, I've got some reg, some heavy-duty door hinges that I'm going to put, be putting along this here to kind of give a lot of support for it. Uh, so I'll be uh, grinding and uh, cutting a little bit of the grade away to weld in the new hinges. I probably won't do it today. I can feel a few little sprinkles, but it's pretty cloudy. As you can kind of see up here in the... The clouds is kind of day we're working on today. Uh, there's lots of clouds. It's it looks like rain, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it rains. Hopefully, the paint will get dry uh, before it get any rain on it. So, uh, next thing I'll show you is when I got the, the hinges laid out. Well, I have the hinges laid out. I was able to put one at every 12 inches as where they'll be uh, centered. You can see I got a little lines there. We're going to line them out. Now I need to go in and uh, drill out the holes we normally have the bolt in. Because the way I'm mounting them is actually upside down from what you would normally mount one. And I'm not bolting them. I'm going to weld them. So I need to drill the hole out so it'll be uh, a little easier to weld on. And uh, I'll show you show you those when I get those, those all drilled out. And the edges all cleaned up so I can weld to them. And then I need to take on, on the hinge, or the door, or the gate rather, I need to take, uh, like here, uh, we have the grate in the way where the hinge, the hinge is going to go clear back to this edge here, so it covers from here to here with a little bit of a gap. And then I'll do the same thing here on, on this side. And then, uh, so I need to grind all this down, I need a flat surface, so I'm going to have to grind uh, this out over here and over here in order to have the hinge go down in here, because I don't want to put it on top of the, the little mesh. So I'll have to do that. I may have to put a little reinforcement underneath there to hold uh, to hold the mesh. 
I'll see when I get that far if it's going to be a problem or not. So that's kind of where I'm at on the trailer. We'll pick up in the next section when I have the hinges ready to go on. All right, just to catch everybody up where I'm at, uh, uh, I've taken the side disc where the hinges are going to be uh, uh, welded onto. I've cleaned the spot for the five hinges over here. See all of them over there? That's going to put those five hinges in there. And then what I've done is normally a hinge is mounted um, this way, the door being the outside. Well, there's always a taper, you know, right up here in this corner. Well, what I did is I flipped them over because I'm going to mount them on on the gate this way. So I drilled the holes out and put a little bit of tape on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on here and I'm going to space them out with a little spacer for my speed square. So they'll be spaced out about this far. So it's kind of hard to do one handed, but uh, that way I'll get a, an even spacing so I don't have to worry about the hinge rubbing on it. And then I'll weld them in that position. And then there'll be one on each one of these here. And uh, um, that's kind of where I'm at now. Next step is to actually go and weld them out. Uh, I was able to get back out here today. You can see nice little sunny day. Sun's over there. I don't want to go into the sun, but uh, um, got a nice uh, sunny day, the rest of the day anyway. It's uh, about 6 o'clock tonight, so I've got a couple more hours I can work on this tonight before it gets dark. And that's what I do. So when I come back, I uh, will uh, have the hinges welded on. We'll go from there. Well, it's the next day. It uh, got a little late on me. I had to put it away, and uh, so I got it out today and uh, welded on. Finished welding on the brackets. See the brackets down here. I put five of them on. I think I was originally planning to put four, but I ended up putting five on. I spaced out about every foot, so that should give a lot of good support for uh, pulling the mowers on and off, and they should last for a while. I took and spaced them out uh, equally from the rail. So now my next step is to. Going here and uh, grinding off the old hinges, you can see from there it's kind of an oblong hole. That's what was holding the gate up on the one side, and the other side over here um, has a bolt. You can see right here it had broke off, and uh, I need to grind that piece off. And next, I'll need to grind off the rest of this down here in order to uh, you know, get it out of the way. It's not needed. Here's the bracket that we this uh, hook right here went into we're gonna get a couple new ones just because we don't want to mess with the old ones uh, this side over here I'm gonna have to cut this off as well put something a little more heavier duty on um, and you can see this one here down here it was pull or already pulling out uh, so we'll cut that off put something new on there and as you can probably see here's the other piece that broke off down here so that's kind of my next step here I'll wait for the primer to dry and then I'll put uh, I'll put some paint on it paint it black like the rest of it and may have a few more welding to do on the the grate now it's kind of pushing up but I think after I drive over a few times it'll flatten it back out and we can always weld it if we need to but that's kind of where my update is uh, today I'm gonna to try and get it uh, painted today and get it turned around so I can start working on taking the, the lights out so I can weld them not have to worry about melting the the LED lights because that wouldn't be good because I don't think there's anything wrong with them so that'd be my next step and I'll come back when uh, I have uh, that all fixed up yeah just a little quick update I, uh, I got all the hinges painted I ground off the old uh, bolts that uh, went through there little brackets right off of this corner over here and then painted those up so those won't be in the way and I've got them all all primed and painted and put on and I also did uh, this side over here so I have uh, that all done ready to go now I just need to finish cutting off the brackets off the trailer part uh, I think I'm gonna end this video now it's probably getting kind of long so uh, uh, I'll pick up again uh, another, start another video when I get ready to start working on the, the trailer part and, and then I'll be heading over to the fender to try and get that patched in Well, I've completed this section of the video, so I uh, just wanted to let everybody know just uh, do a like and subscribe. There's my face over in one corner, and then I'll have a link to the other videos in this uh, trailer build. 
So go ahead and uh, uh, click on that and watch the other videos if you've missed the previous ones. I'm trying to post uh, um, one as soon as I can on uh, the updates. I have uh, other things occupying my time, so I just need to keep going with the garden and uh, the mowing and and I uh, just want to remember uh, just go ahead and like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos.